So now I want to talk about the unfair advantage map, another tool in your toolbox to help you stand out. If I asked you, what's your superpower? What would some of you say? Any takers? When someone asks me, for me, it's quite hard. And ho hopefully some of you feel the same. And when someone asks me, what makes you special? I think it's difficult for most folks to come with a succinct answer off the top of their head. They're like, oh, I'm not that special, right? That, that kind of is the default. Very, very hard to answer that. And then the even harder question, which is what I'm getting at, is why should I hire you? If you guys have ever been answered that question, it's quite a shock, right? You're like, whoa, like, whew, we're not that good friends yet. Like, chill out. Also questions around this topic, which is why do you think you're a fit? Which is basically the same as why I should hire you or what value do you bring to the company? This is also the same question. And that makes it even harder if we are not prepared for these questions during the interview, right? If we haven't thought about this, how are we gonna succinctly answer that? This leads me to this framework, the Ikigai. And the phrase itself means a reason for being or things that you live for, okay? It's four concentric circles, a Venn diagram, what you're good at, what you love, what the world needs, and what you could be paid for. And if we find a thing in the middle, that should be our ikigai, our reason for being. So I've adapted this because what we're paid for and what the world needs, we know to be true that is design. Okay, let's assume that in our hypothesis. And here it is. This is the unfair advantage map. So what the world needs and what you'd be paid for is in this situation, what a designer needs. So what your audience needs and potentially your goals. And then here on the left, the talent and skill, what you're good at. This could be the wins from the brag sheet because you've already done that accomplishment. Things that you actively learn and work towards like design skills. So the what and how you do something. And then the passion and interest. What do you love without payment or other external factors of motivation, things that you just do. So this could be your personality, your values, your interests, the why you do something, which we visited in the personal brand canvas. And it could help you answer questions that I've asked before. What is your superpower? What makes you special as a designer? Why should I hire you? Why do you think you're a fit for this company? And what value do you bring? Not just me talking about it, let's just dive right in to Figma. I will walk you through how to do this activity. 